symmetry goes quite deep in nature and also is quite deep within mathematics so it's appropriate to look at lines of symmetry in this video lines of symmetry let's take some common shapes and try and find how many lines of symmetry they have first let's do the triangle in the middle can you see any lines of symmetry first of all what is a line of symmetry it's a line you can draw through a shape or an object and everything to one side of that line will look exactly the same as everything to the other side of the line if it's a certain distance from the mirror line and it's good to think of it in terms of a mirror line um, on one side then it'll be that same distance on the other side let's give you an example in this triangle there's one mirror line that I can see which would be going, let's move it down a bit, something like that through the triangle. Now if we make that a bit smaller, you can see it's a line of symmetry because to the left of that line that triangle looks exactly the same as the part of the triangle that's to the right of the line. How about if we tried a different line of symmetry, say going from this point? Well, even though I've split the triangle in half, the part of the triangle to the right of this new line does not look the same as the part of the triangle to the left of that line. In other words, if we put a mirror along here, we would not see what we see indeed here which is a shape different on the left to the right. Compare that to the line we had previously, let's delete that. On this line, if it was a mirror, you would indeed see what you see on the left as you do on the right. So that's one and one line only of symmetry in that shape. How about the shape to the left, the star? How many lines of symmetry can you see there? Well, that's quite a hard one, so I'm going to leave that to the end, but you think about that. For now, we're going to do the rectangle below. A lot of students think that there's four lines of symmetry. They think one along the middle, like so, and then they'd say one along the center, like so, and they'd also think two going from right to left, like so. But, just to take one of those lines, if I remove one of them, just to take this line, imagine placing a mirror along the line going up here, from left to right. And take a look to the right and you see this part of the shape, let's highlight it. Taking a look to the right, you see this part of the rectangle. Now, if it was a mirror, the other side of the rectangle should look something like this because it goes um, quite far out and to the right down here and so it should go, go quite far out and to the left along here then it cuts straight towards the mirror and so it should cut straight towards the mirror but in reality the rectangle doesn't do that so that is not a line of symmetry so let's remove those lines in fact a rectangle only has two lines of symmetry one going vertically up one going horizontally. How about a parallelogram here? How many lines of symmetry can you see there? Again, many students think there's two. For example, one going like so between the two sides. Now, if you tilt your head, <laughs> it might actually help to think about this one, but if you imagine a mirror going along this line, you wouldn't see the same thing on the left as you do on the right. It's weighted, uh, for example, on the left here, more higher up compared to on the right-hand side where the shape is more lower down. In other words, they don't look the same on both sides. I'll quickly show you what they might look like if they did look the same on both sides. Whoops, let's draw a new line here. You would get something like uh, going out and then going back in. So you might have something like that if it was a mirror line, but it's not a mirror line. So 
in fact there's actually no lines of symmetry in a parallelogram. Two more shapes. How many in this amazing shape here? Well, that's the hardest of all, so we're going to quickly do the green shape first, and that will help you for the final shape. Here, I can actually see one line going straight up, uh, another line, let's delete that little dot, another line going straight across, and a line cutting this way, and a line cutting this way. For a total of one, two, three, four lines of symmetry. That's four lines of symmetry. How about we try the biggest one, this star here. Let's see how many we can find. Here's one. That's one line of symmetry. And you see both sides of that mirror line look identical. Another line of symmetry. And another line going all the way down. Let's shift it just to the right. And another going here. Let's make that a bit more accurate. And another going along like so. And finally, a line cutting horizontally like so. How many is that? Well, without double counting, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different lines of symmetry. Interesting that this star has six points and six lines of symmetry. This star had four points and four lines of symmetry. Often it's a good indication for a star, in a star, um, the number of points is often the number of lines of symmetry. And finally, we can cast our eye towards the beautiful butterfly and see how nature itself possesses a large amount of amazing symmetry.